with him today so he treated me to Intelligentsia coffee over here in Venice I've never been here but it's an awesome coffee shop it looks like um, a factory yeah it's like a museum factory where you can work and drink coffee and then we're sitting on like a it's like a theater stage type thing it's cool we even have little seat pads <laughs> yeah, I think, nice. uh... it's got this cool thing installed you can get Hot water? Cold water, so we don't have to keep buying gallons. <laughs> Yay, I'm excited about this, but we also like don't really have any room. <laughs> Trash can go there. There's like minimal space to get to the pantry, but I guess that might be like a good thing in the future. Oh, it can be a tripod. Yes. This is amazing. <laughs> this is gonna be some behind the scenes of my website launch stuff that you guys may have been seeing on my social media, but not really understanding reasonings why. Um, we did have the green, the olive green Ignite Your Fire shirts, but uh, American Apparel got bought out. And when we went to go place the order, um, we, did, we did things a little bit last minute, so we didn't get to get the green shirts. They actually got all sold out because uh, American Apparel got bought out. We have the black ones, so if you ordered a black shirt, I think that's awesome and I appreciate you guys. I think it's really cool that you guys connect to that saying and that part of my brand. So so anyways, we'll get some uh, cool different stuff going for you guys um, in the future and another launch, but just for like the initial website launch, I think it's really cool that you guys are interested in that kind of stuff. So anyways, three more hours until website launch, three more hours. When a bunch of hungry fitness girls are eating all at the same time. <laughs> get out of the kitchen. <laughs> you eat I'm eating some peanut butter and an apple. Mm-hmm. Salted caramel, though. Hell yeah. Mmm, that one's so good. So good. That's worth the shit. Cheerios for me. With the last bit of almond milk I have left. And I'm gonna put um, half a scoop of pea science snickerdoodle in it to make a protein cereal. I totally don't have enough milk to make cereal, so I'm gonna use water to even this out. <laughs> you're putting protein in it though? Huh? You, you said you're putting protein in it? Yeah, like yeah, you're putting fine. Then you can use water. Yeah, I've done that. Combination of this <laughs> with cereal is like the best thing ever. And my apologies if y'all can't hear. We have the dishwasher going, sorry, the washing machine going, everyone's cooking, but we're preparing to travel tomorrow. I'm going to Texas tomorrow uh, with Karen and Randy. They're both coming with me. We're all going to stay at Heidi's house and we have a meetup on Saturday, which I'm super excited about. Um, but yeah, we're all just, I'll just rush in to get stuff done. Where are you going, Miss Beautiful? I love your outfit. Thank you. So cute. Where are you going? Um, Just to go casually hang out with my best friend, Gary V. <laughs> what? BFFs, what happened? And what, what do you Okay, doing? so he posted something about doing like a secret event here in LA. Literally, he said secret, secret event. Secret event. I don't even know what I'm going to. And um, he wrote, comment below in this video on his Instagram, and I'm gonna pick randomly 15 people, um, just at random. And I never win anything, seriously. Like, I've never even won like a scratch off lottery ticket. So like, but if you don't try, like the answer is always no. So I commented and within like five minutes, I had a notification from Gary V saying that I'm in. So out of like all these thousands of people that commented, I don't know, God's will, I got chosen and I, that's where I'm going. So you have no idea where you're going. I just know that I'm headed to Hollywood and it's from 6 to 9 p.m. That's the only details that I have and I'm literally so excited for you. Can't wait to hear I asked if I could bring Amanda with me, but it's okay. Let, it's all for back, you. All, you yeah. deserve it. I'll bring back all the giving you my juju that I hopefully learned. So yay! yay. So exciting. So excited. Oh, is this Gary learned. V over here? It's Gary V. <laughs> Gary. Just Gary. Oh, you're just... What's up, Gary? 
<laughs> hey, girl. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm coming out right now. Thank yes. you, bye. Bye. Yes, I can hear you. So cool. Ready, I'm packing for San Antonio tomorrow. Very excited. I'm like, I think I might under, actually no, I haven't even put my toiletries in here yet, never mind. But I'm getting better at packing, guys. I'm trying not to overpack as much as possible, but regardless, I usually do sometimes. Randy, what are you up to? Getting some work done. I'm planning ahead of time, you know, getting my shit done. Trying, trying. Marie actually got me this like cool thing. It's a speaker and it hooks up to the Bluetooth. It's uh, called, let me turn this down so I can talk. It's called the Recover thing. <laughs> it looks like a speaker and it's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, and then we're listening to the Gold Digger podcast. This is my friend Jenna's podcast, and she's amazing. You, you can make these gourmet lunches because you have your kitchen there, and you're like, <laughs> her voice is just so nice. I just made this with that, and Randy came over because she wanted one. Like, <laughs> it was like calling my name. Okay, here, let me record you oh, take a bite. So it looks so good. So it's. Salted caramel. <laughs> <laughs> so excited to take a bite. <laughs> Can you do that one more time? <laughs> Hell yeah. PB and J. <laughs> Salted caramel PB with apple butter and jelly. That like sounds so good. Can you do that like every time that you eat something? That was so funny. <laughs> like this video and you want me to eat like that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Only if it's this good. Oh my god. Is this so good? Mmm, that's very good. She's really happy right now, guys. It's just so good. I haven't had a rice cake with peanut butter and jelly in a while. Damn. Yeah, that sounds mm. solid. Yum. Very good. Try it. Also, I've been really good at keeping up with my macros the last week or so. Um, I don't weigh things out super strictly, but I know what I'm eating throughout the day. And I usually add it up at the end of the night, and then I just, like, fill in whatever's left. Um, and I've been really good at it, so... I'm trying to actually add calories in, um, so by the time I cut, I have a higher calorie amount. So, focusing on that, so I'm eating this at the end of the night. Um, and you're feeling I, great the last couple I weeks while doing that. Yes, I feel amazing. Yeah. Um, I didn't have like any, I had like a little bit of, I probably have four grams of protein in this or something like that, um, and two in the oatmeal that I'm going to have, so I had like, I could like add six grams of protein or whatever. Um, and I had 30 carbs left, so this is going to be... This is about 20 and that's about 20, so I could go over a little bit on carbs. And then I had about seven grams of fat left and this is the peanut butter. Get it, girl. So yeah, I'm having oatmeal after this. Yeah, and she'll show Good you job. her masterpiece. Good job. Yum, can we make mine now? Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm gonna just enjoy it. Lastly, I'm going to enjoy this. It's probably about 22 carbs, because I added some blueberries. It's like not that much. Um, and it's just one packet of oatmeal and that is it. <laughs> So I have some shoes, my slippers. I literally cannot travel without slippers. Like I cannot do it. Um, I have shucks and I also have um, NMDs I'm taking. I have a pair of heels just in case. I'm not going to like unpack my whole suitcase for you guys, but this is all my toiletries, my hair dryer, hair straightener, brush, hair products. I actually got this and I'm obsessed with it. It's um, a heat tool. It's like a leave-in conditioner thing. It's great. Um, some lotion, face wash. This is Bellamy hairspray and it's the best hairspray I've ever used. Um, it doesn't make your hair hard and it just like does its job but it doesn't make it hard or like gross or anything. Um, I have a Bellamy hair dryer and the Vanity Planet hair straightener brush thing I showed you guys in my last video I'm taking with me. And I always have a hoodie, Barbell Brigade hoodie. I have some leggings, a dress, and yeah. You can lose your halo. No, that's not them. That totally looks like 
like Lexi right there, does it not? Uh, hi! <laughs> okay, I think we can fit everyone. Yeah! And, is it pork horse pepper? Yeah, seasoned pepper. There's like four Everybody's munching on food. <laughs> You're eating vegetables? <laughs> yeah. Vegetables. Are you proud? <laughs> You're documenting for, for an well, important moment. They're still on the plate. I'm getting them all, okay? <laughs> What's going on, guys? We've made well, it to San Antonio. I had pizza. <laughs> yeah. And we're at Heidi's house. Um, we're getting ready to go to the gym very shortly. And I will catch you guys at the gym. Tonight we lose control. Oh, 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 oh. No matter where we go. Oh, 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 oh. Whenever going wrong. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on guys? Thanks so much for tuning into the video. I'm super excited to be in San Antonio and this was our first day here. We just went to the gym all together and I did an abs and upper body workout but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update quick and then I'll take you through the workout. I have been just training kind of on my own for the last week or so after my powerlifting meet. I do want to get back into it but with the last week with the website launch and everything I've just gotten so busy that powerlifting workouts have kind of taken like a back seat but I'm going to get back into it um, likely when I get back from San Antonio but um, I've just been doing some bodybuilding stuff, but uh, it's going very well. And uh, the next thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is that my podcast, new, the newest episode will be coming out tomorrow. I'm going to be posting them on Mondays. So you guys will make sure you're subscribed to the podcast. You'll see uh, a new podcast every single Monday. The one that I'm posting tomorrow is going to be my interview with Christian Guzman. His interview, we talked about when he first got started opening up Alpha Lee Gym, how he got started with Alpha Lee Athletics, talking about YouTube and sharing his personal life. We we talked about what um, what motivates him right now, what motivates him to keep making videos every single day, and stuff like that. So make sure you guys tune in. His interview was really uh, fun to fun to ask him questions and hear his story. So more interviews to come as well as some solo episodes I'm going to be doing on my own. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the podcast. I've seriously been blown away by all the tweets and messages about how much you guys enjoyed the first episode. I think it's like such a fun platform to be able to connect with you guys on. So thanks so much for tuning into that. So I'm going to take you guys through some of this workout. Uh, as you guys saw, I started off doing some abs and I wanted to get abs out of the way. So I usually leave abs till the end and I don't end up doing them. So I started off with abs just to make sure that I got them done. So my favorite ab exercise is cable crunches. I did three sets of 25. Next favorite ab exercise you guys saw is the um, decline bench sit-ups with the with a 10 pound plate. And then I also did decline bench Russian t Russian twists where I did 10 on either side and it was a total of 20. Um, and then after that, I moved on to upper body. So that was like good enough for me. I usually stick to like two or three ab exercises and it's good. Um, I moved on to doing seated shoulder press. So I actually forgot my wrist strap. So I didn't want to go too heavy because my left wrist from when I broke it is still like a little iffy. And then I also superseded that with some, bi with some bicep curls. So then I moved on to doing this landmine press and it was actually really, really difficult. I never do this exercise, but uh, difficult isn't a bad thing. So I'm going to start incorporating it more because it felt different and it felt difficult so um, that's something that I want to get stronger at and then I also ended my workout with um, a little circuit so I did lateral raises and then I also did some tricep kickbacks and then after the tricep kickbacks I did uh, rear delt flies with a five pound dumbbell I just kind of went to fa failure on each of these and I did three sets and that was a really really good burnout for the end of the exercise ending the day with 10 sets of selfies in the mirror and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm gonna end the, this one here, and then the next vlog will be like the entire weekend. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Give it a thumbs up. Can you tell everyone to give the video a thumbs up? Y'all better give the video a thumbs up. Or else, or else we'll find you. Or else the little little tyke over here will be. She'll get you. Bye, guys.